Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, crowned in the presence of the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the victorious team rider Isa Al Anizi, who won the Cup of His Majesty the King for the Junior and Youth category in His Majesty's Endurance Festival, organized by the Royal Federation at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Highness also awarded rider Saud Mbarak Sept the second place and rider Mohammed Khaled Arwai the third position. Both riders are members of the victorious team. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the International Cup Festival of His Majesty the King is considered one of the prominent landmarks on the map of endurance races in the Bahraini season. The festival always witnesses excitement, competition, and the wide participation of stables and riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa pointed out that the junior and youth race contributes to materializing the goals of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation in creating the ideal atmosphere for young riders and providing them with the full support, noting that the Federation is proceeding according to the vision of expanding the rider base through their support and encouragement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners for their outstanding efforts during the stages of the race and the competitive level among all the riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser followed the stages of the 120 kilometer race as His Highness was keen to direct the riders who received a high moral support from His Highnesses and directives aimed at continuous development. The main race for a distance of 160 kilometers will be held tomorrow. سمو الشيخ ناصر نبارك لك اولا الفوز الكبير اللي تحققه اليوم وهي بدايه طيبه لليوم الكبير اللي بيكون بكره سباق سيدي جلاله الملك واليوم كان سباق الناشئين. ما في شك الحمد لله هذا يعني مهرجان طيب وكلنا نطمح بالفوز فيه والحمد لله على النتيجه والحمد لله على الاداء المشرف الحقيقه. طالما هل وجدت ان الاستبلاغ كانوا جاهزين لسباق اليوم وهل الاداء اعجبك في كيفيه اداء الفرسان في هذا السن يعني؟ الحمد لله احنا نركز على سباقات الجونيور عشان نبني ابطال للمستقبل، نبني منتخبنا الجونيور ونثقفهم ثقافه المنافسه وخاصه الاسلوب الجديد في منافسات سباقات القدرة طال عمرك بكره بيكون سباقنا الكبير ان شاء الله كاس سيدي جلاله الملك ما استعدادات جاهزين ان شاء الله ان شاء الله جاهزين ان شاء الله الله عنده التوافيق واللي علينا ان شاء الله نقوم به ونشوف بكره ان شاء الله الاحوال لكن يعني بتكون صعوبات الحقيقه يعني ما بيكون وضع سهل بكره لازم نتعامل مع طبيعه الجو ونتعامل مع المسافه والوزن فهذا الصعوبه 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, who is chairperson of the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division, took over today the presidency of the Arab Interparliamentary Union. Succeeding Speaker of the UAE Federal National Council, Sagar Ghubash. The presidential transition ceremony took place during the 32nd Conference of the Arab Parliamentary Union held in Egypt, where the Speaker of the Representatives Council will preside over the next session of the Parliamentary Union. After assuming the presidency of the Union, Zainal affirmed the tendency to build on what has been achieved, continue the Arab parliamentary process and take it to a broader horizon based on the spirit of unified work, effective partnership and common aspiration for the Union. She said that the developments the Arab region is facing requires working as a single parliamentary unit and joining hands together in facing dangers and challenges despite exceptional circumstances at various levels, noting the importance of coordinating positions and doubling cooperation and visions between Arab parliaments in order to enhance the role of diplomacy. Zainal extended appreciation and thanks to the Speaker of the UAE National Council for his efforts during his presidency. Despite the circumstances that faced the joint Arab action with the outbreak of the corona pandemic and the great contributions made to activate the role of the Arab group in regional and international parliamentary forums, and to defend the issues and interests of Arab countries and people. And the Speaker of the Representatives Council affirmed that the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty's continuous support had a great impact in consolidating the role of the legislative authority of the Kingdom of Bahrain and strengthening its efforts in the joint Arab parliamentary action course. Zainal pointed out that the Representatives Council was enlightened by the Royal Visions to develop parliamentary work, activate parliamentary diplomacy and devote it to maximizing giving and achievement, as well as utilizing this within the course of the joint Arab parliamentary cooperation in order to achieve the aspirations, hopes and aspirations of the countries and people of the Arab nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, said that the Kingdom of Bahrain has no dispute over the mechanism of dialogue with the state of Qatar on outstanding issues, according to Al Ula statement issued by the 41st session of the Supreme Council of the Gulf Cooperation on January 5, 2021, emphasizing the Kingdom's commitment to what was stated in the Ula announcement. During his meeting with the editors-in-chief of local newspapers in response to a question about the statements of the Qatari Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Foreign Minister revealed that the delay in Qatar's relations with Bahrain is due to the lack of agreement on mechanisms for resolving the dispute, so that there is no dispute over the bilateral dialogue mechanism. The Minister explained that the Kingdom of Bahrain invited Qatar three times without a response and suggested holding bilateral meetings of the technical committees at the headquarters of the General Secretariat of the Gulf Cooperation Council in Riyadh as it symbolizes the Gulf work and its blessed march for four decades and represents all the member states. The GCC Secretary General conveyed Bahrain's request to Doha which has not yet responded to the proposal. Following an approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced that the protocol for contacts of active cases have been updated and will go into effect from Sunday, 20th February 2021. According to the updated protocols, contacts of active cases will no longer have to undergo a precautionary period of isolation. This includes individuals who do not hold a green shield on the Be Aware application. Also, as part of the updated contacts protocols, tests will only be conducted for individuals experiencing COVID-19 related symptoms through the following options. Conducting a rapid test, if the result of the rapid test is positive, individuals must proceed to the drive through testing centers to conduct a PCR test. Or conduct a PCR test at a private hospital. Or book a PCR test via the Be Aware application if experiencing any COVID-19 related symptoms. Or call 444 to book an appointment for a PCR test if experiencing COVID-19 related symptoms. The task force stressed the importance of continuing to adhering to the precautionary measures and the latest updates to the protocols in order to maintain the Kingdom's successful coronavirus response and to preserve public health. Based on recommendations made by the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, the Civil Aviation Affairs has announced an update to the Kingdom of Bahrain's health entry procedures at Bahrain International Airport. 
The following procedures will be effective from Sunday, the 20th of February, 2022. All passengers arriving in the Kingdom of Bahrain do not need to conduct a PCR test upon arrival. Cancellation of the precautionary quarantine for all passengers arriving in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that a 1,229,409 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1 million 201,926 took the second dose and 958,384 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Minister of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 43,462 with 6,627 recoveries, 3,726 registered new cases and one death. 84 active cases are receiving medical treatment and 18 patients remain in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,433 total deaths while 436,617 have recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.